Christopher David George Kit Nicholson was a British architect and designer of the early modern movement in Britain. His most notable works of the 1930s were comparable to the advanced modern abstract style of his older brother, the artist Ben Nicholson. Nicholson was born on December 16, 1904 at Pilgrim's Lane, Hampstead, the fourth child of the artist William Nicholson and Mabel Pride. His siblings were the celebrated painter Ben, Anthony, who died of wounds in France during the First World War, and Annie Mary Nancy, artist and wife of the poet Robert Graves. Kit Nicholson was educated at Gresham School, Holt, from 1917 to 1922, and then read architecture at Street. John's College, Cambridge. In 1926 he won a one-year Davison scholarship to study architecture at Princeton University. After his return to Britain in 1927 he undertook several small architectural commissions. From 1929 to 1930 he taught at the School of Architecture, University of Cambridge, one of his pupils was Hugh Casson. Nicholson moved to London in 1931, and worked for Watson Hart and Val Meyer. In December 1931 Nicholson married Elsie Queen Myers, usually known as E.Q. Nicholson, whom he had met in about 1930. In 1933 Nicholson started his own architectural practice, in premises over a chemist in the Fulham Road. Casson joined the practice in 1934, and E.Q. also worked there. Between 1933 and 1934 Nicholson worked on the design and construction of a new studio for Augustus John at Fordingbridge in Hampshire. In 1935 and 1936 he designed and built the premises of the London Gliding Club at Dunstable in Bedfordshire. In the same period he made alterations to Monkton House for Edward James, and designed and constructed a private house, Kitts Close, at Henley. In 1938 James asked him to design a new building for his estate at West Dean, which was to incorporate the facade of James Wyatt's Pantheon in Oxford Street, London, which was being demolished. Nicholson was elected to the Modern Architecture Research Group in 1937, and was on the committee which organized the new architecture exhibition held by the group at the New Burlington Galleries in London from 11 to January 29, 1938. With the outbreak of the Second World War in 1939, Nicholson signed up as a meteorological officer in the fleet air arm. Between 1943 and 1945 he was the commander in charge of flying at the Inskip airfield in Lancashire. In 1945 he flew a Hellcat to Ceylon to take up a position as commander of the Katukarunda base of the fleet air arm. He flew solo, and the journey took him a month. After he returned to Britain in 1946, Nicholson resumed practice as an architect. He undertook small commissions, including some design work for exhibition stands, and the design of radio and television sets for Ferranti. A gliding enthusiast, Nicholson died at age 44 on July 28, 1948 in a gliding accident during the World Gliding Championships at Samaden in the Graubünden, in Switzerland. In 1988 an exhibition in York showed Nicholson's work beside that of his brother, his sister and his wife. In 1994, the Royal Institute of British Architects acquired his complete collection of drawings, records and photographs for the drawings collection of the British Architectural Library. A selection was reproduced by Neil Bingham and Christopher Nicholson, from the early projects through to his major buildings such as Augustus John's studio and the London Gliding Club. Thanks for watching.